When this new council was formed, we, the administration, were elected on the basis of three promises. The first was to deliver excellent services. The second was to support the vulnerable where we could. And the third, and most importantly, was to maintain and enhance the environment. And this is a key plank of our policy. And we have developed already detailed action plans for improving the uh, fight or enhancing the fight against climate change. And we want to develop also policies for enhancing biodiversity. Nature recovery is incredibly important to the council. But we can't do this alone and we have to work in partnership and collaboration with many partners. We're working with both National Park Authorities, Lake District and Yorkshire Dales, Cumberland Council, Cumbria Wildlife Trust and many others. But importantly, we're also working with farmers and landowners and they have the knowledge and wealth of knowledge to be able to know what investment and interventions are required in nature recovery on the ground. We are working through the local nature recovery strategy, which is a fantastic tool to help us to map the opportunities, the investment, the interventions and actions on the ground. And again, we can only do that with the farmers and landowners' knowledge and experience. And I'm here today in the Oldswater Valley, uh, surrounded by farms who are very much working on nature recovery through the Oldswater Catchment Management CIC and with partners and the results are fantastic and you can see that on the ground. Through the local investment in natural capital which is link funding, funding from DEFRA, it's £1 million over two years, we've got an opportunity to work with farmers and landowners and our partners and through the Borderlands Partnership to identify opportunities to leverage in private sector funding to complement the public sector investment. And one of those projects is the Oldswater CIC, and it's a fantastic project. It's balancing nature recovery, natural flood management, and also celebrating productive landscapes. It is also about farming and farming production, as well as nature recovery, and they have a real balance here. So my name's Danny Teasdale, and along with my wife Maddie, that uh, was just here today, we run Ainswater Catchment Management CIC, which is a, a community interest company. And the whole, the whole idea for us is that we work with farmers, we work with landowners in the area, and then we show how you can combine farming, natural flood management, uh, conservation, nature recovery, all of those kind of things, and how they can all work together. To give you some examples of sort of the work that we've done, I mean, this is this is a, a river restoration project that we worked with the Environment Agency on. So we took a river that was in the wrong place and we moved it back into a much more natural, free-moving river. Um, and it's working really well for the ecology. It, it's a very poor bit of grazing for the farmers, so it, it works well here. We've done lots and lots of hedgerow planting. That's a big thing that we're trying to do is to replace the hedgerows around the catchment to sort of they work really well for the farm and good shelter, a good good livestock shelter, but they also provide great wildlife corridors as well. Yeah. Maddie and myself are both really passionate about our wildlife, but we're also very, very passionate about supporting farming. And this to us, this is how we believe that we can restore nature at scale by working with farms and working with farmers. If you need to if you need to be able to work at that kind of scale scale and that kind of level, then you've got to engage with farmers, then you have to work with them and work with their farms. But one of the sort of big parts of our success is from the fact that we're working these schemes from the ground up with farmers. There are priorities, people have ideas, but at the same, at the same time, all of our schemes are absolutely co-developed with the farmer as well. So we're at the point where farmers come to us and they'll ask us, what can we do? Or, I've got an idea, I'd like to do this, how do we do that? And right at the very start, we sort of work up the project together and then we look to see how we might fund that. But it's it, that, that local knowledge is absolutely crucial to it and input because it's, it's vital having that input from someone that's lived on the land and found the land for years is, is essential. The, with the CIC, um, it's kind of grown way, way more than we ever anticipated. And I'd like to think that what we are doing is developing a model that can be replicated throughout the rest of the county. We're showing that 
what we're doing works and, and it's delivering. And there's a model here that can be replicated everywhere else as well. So, you know, we, we just think it's really, it's really important to sort of get people out, show them what it looks like on the ground. And then that's how, that's how they can see what it, what it is and what it looks like when it's finished. Over 50% of our landscape is protected landscape. And we have a real asset here in terms of our land. And that gives us an opportunity to deliver multiple benefits for our communities, for our places, for the environment and the economy. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing how the projects progress uh, and working with the Oldswater Management CIC.